to your inspirations. Have you ever wondered why do 4C or 4C kinky hair type shrinks? And it doesn't even have to be 4C. It could be 4A and 4, 4B, 4C hair. I have 4A hair. Um, only reason why my hair looks the way it looks is because I use, uh, I do a twist out. So I have to manipulate my hair to get this results. Otherwise it's like really curly and the curls are packed together. And I wouldn't say packed together like 4C hair, but it has a lot of shrinkage. So the length is not true to itself. Um, my hair generally falls to about right here, but because it shrinks 50%, is the length that I get. Now, why do why do our hair shrink when we wash it? It's because the water, what it does is elongates it um, and it gives you the appearance of it, the length of it, but then once it dries, it evaporates. And so that's why we get the shrinkage that we do. Now, be mindful that if your hair shrinks, that is a sign that you may have healthy hair. If your hair don't shrink, then that means your hair could be damaged because um, if you don't see any curl results and it tends to be like curly and then straight at the end, we all know that that stems from heat damage. So you wanna probably get your ends trimmed, cut back on the heat and try to do like natural hairstyles. Um, if you don't wanna do a, a big chop, do natural hairstyles and just get your end, ends trimmed when needed. Um, so that's what I would recommend. But um, a lot of people want to know what can they do to elongate their hair or elongate their curls. So remember, 4C type hair is packly coiled together. So you would have to manipulate your curl pattern to create a longer length. So some of the things that I recommend that you, you can try like the bands, the bands, um, method where you wrap a band around your hair while it's wet or damp to give you more length um, so you just try to stretch your hair um, another way you could do is a braid out you could like you know add your butters and your creams and braid your hair and overnight let it set in and take it down the next day you will get you will get more of a curlier um, uh, wavy appearance based on the sections you take so if you do four sections, you're gonna get more of a wavier pattern. So you just, you'll get more length to your hair. So I know these are some, uh, seems to be a lot of work, but it's actually simple once you find the right technique for you. Another thing you can do is you can pineapple your hair at night that stretches it as well. And it's gonna keep it from being frizzy. Um, so I recommend you doing something like that. Um, also, frizz, where does that come from? Well, frizz is due to lack of moisture. So you wanna put the moisture back into the hair. So you simply want to make sure you do a leave-in conditioner or you can do a moisturizer. And then you wanna apply some, you know, uh, uh, a butter or cream. Or you can also try just a light oil to seal that moisture in. Um, so this is something I highly recommend um, when you lack moisture and your hair is dry due to 4C hair because the oils in the natural scalp do not tend to want to reach the ends of our hair and it stays the driest and that creates, you know, frizzy hair as well. High humidity creates frizzy hair. So these are some things you want to do. You want to keep, you know, the moisture in the hair. That's the main objective. The hair with curl formers, uh, also you can do like big jumbo braids and you can use cold air from a uh, blow dryer as well. That's pretty much it, and jumbo rollers. So guys, I'm gonna just show you a trick that I do to my hair when I tend to get frizzy hair. So as you can see the appearance like right here, it's, it's a little frizzy. I'm not saying it's a lot of frizzy, but you can just take some water and spritz it. Okay, then you're gonna take your cream, which I'm gonna use my Beauty Chronic Oil Moisture Cream. You can apply that to the hair. You don't need a lot, just a little. 
and then you can just twist it. And what this does is we form the curl pattern. So you take a rod and then you just twist it around. And guys, I just let this set for like five, I wouldn't even say five minutes, maybe two to five minutes. Um, I find this to be very effective with reducing frizz and I won't have to try to resection my hair and restart my twist out all over again. Um, that's what, this is what I do and it actually helps prevent breakage as well. So um, some of the best oils that I would recommend for 4C hair would be like cocoa, coconut oil, castor oil, black seed oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, avocado oil, and manula oil. These oils are very moisturizing and effective for sealing the hair. So if you can find you like a really good serum or a light, a light oil, you can use that after you do, you know, your moisturization. Um, so I use, I use both, mainly both of my products I use is my BB Crown Glory Moisture Cream followed by my BB Lock and Love Serum because this is going to lock it in and seal in that moisture. But just make sure you, you know, cleanse your hair, make sure you wash your hair first, um, start from scratch. And when I say wash your hair, I would say like within two to three, two to three weeks. Um, so it's not that you can't add water to your hair because you can spritz your hair daily and you can actually go into the shower and, you know, just just wash it with water. And I usually recommend like, just like cool water. So this is not considered washing. This is just to, you know, get the product out of the hair and also to uh, help help with the curls. Like it just help bring the curls back into shape once you go outdoors or whatever and you have, you know, different um, environmental factors that play into why your hair is not acting properly when you um, want to style it. So um, just keep in mind that 4C hair, it's not really meant to have naturally have long length. It's going to shrink regardless. Um, that's just the way our hair grow out our head. Um, so if your, your hair falls like within uh, a 3A to a 3C, then you're going to have, you're going to have more of a longer longer um, length but 3c hair is more like coarse screw uh, so you're still gonna get more more length in the hair based on the length of the hair so guys um, I hope I dropped some knowledge today on why 4c hair or kinky curly hair type shrink and why it shrinks so thanks for watching and then I'm gonna take this roller out I'm sorry um, so as you can see if I Take it loose, look what happens. It actually puts the curl back into place and it reduces the frizz. So, bye guys, I'll see you in another video.